I'll now talk about how you can summarize particular variables or subsets of variables within a data set. And this could be either a data set that you opened up in R, or it could be a data set that came with R. And the example I'm using here is the Swiss data set, which is one of the built-in data sets that comes with the software R. So suppose you want to take the mean of the variable in this data set that's called fertility, which happens to be the variable in the first column of the data set. The function that we use is just called mean, and the input to this function is the vector consisting of the first column of this data set. And there are several ways that we can refer to this column. We can use the bracket notation. We can say, give me the Swiss data set where I want all the rows but only column one. We can say, give me the Swiss data set where I want all the rows, but only the column called fertility. Or I could say, give me the Swiss data set, the variable called fertility. Or if I've used the attach function, I can leave off the Swiss part altogether and just say fertility. All four of these things will do the same thing. They'll all generate the mean of that first column. So you can choose between any of those if you have a data set. To calculate the variance, the same thing. You say var uh, followed by uh, the, the vector consisting of the numbers you'd like to take, the variance of. Um, so I just chose chosen one of the four ways you can refer to a variable um, that I've listed above. There's one of them. The variance here is 156. Importantly, this is the sample variance. So this is the sum of square differences from the mean um, divided by n minus 1 instead of n. When I typed summary Swiss, it summarized all the variables, but if I'd like to summarize any particular variable in R, I can just refer to that variable. So I can make a summary of the fertility variable or a summary of the agriculture variable. If these vectors, these variables, contained NAs, the summary command would tell me that as well. So let me make up a little example of that. I'll call this variable temp. Maybe the variable temp is a vector containing the numbers 3, 5, 2, and the symbol NA, 352 NA. So that's my vector temp. If I say summary temp, you can see that it tells me the minimum is 2, the max is 5, the mean is 3.333, and there's 1 NA. So that's useful to know as well, that when you use the summary command, it'll give you a count of the NAs. There's a different command that you can use to summarize a variable in R called table. And here I'll use it to summarize the education variable that comes with the Swiss data set. This is different than the summary command. What this, this table command does is, for each value that the variable can take on, it tells you how many times the variable took on that value. So it looks like there was one row in this data set where education was equal to one. There were three rows in this data set where education was equal to two. There were three rows in this data set where education was equal to 13. Note the difference between saying table Swiss education and summary. Swiss education. When I say summary, it gives me mean, median, quartiles, min and max. When I say table, it lists out all the possible values along with how often they occurred. When you're deciding whether you're more interested in a summary or table, you want to think about how many different values your variable could possibly take on. If you have a categorical variable, or if you have a variable where the values are words, like yes or no, then you'll get the same result whether you use summary or table in that it will just tell you how many yeses and how many noes you have. But if you have a continuous variable and every person in your data set has a different blood pressure or a different income, and you say table, it's going to list out every value for, um, say, every income for every Every person in your data set with a one underneath telling you that that income was observed one time. So in that case, with a continuous variable, you're probably more interested in something like summary, which will give you the mean, the min, the max, etc. To see it again, think of that little temp vector I made. If I say table temp, it'll tell me that the temp data set the temp vector has 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 5. Note that although the summary command tells me when there is an NA or how many NAs there are in my vector that we're summarizing, the table command omits NAs and just ignores that altogether. So that's another thing to keep in mind, um, that just because your table doesn't tell you that there are a certain number of NAs doesn't mean you don't have them. The table command omits NAs, the summary command does not. So we made a table of the education variable. We can also make a table of the examination variable. For the table command, you can also give it more than one vector, and it makes um, what some softwares call cross tabs. Um, always down the rows, it'll have the first variable. Down the columns, it'll have the second one. So these are education levels, and these are examination levels. And what this is telling us is how many rows in the data set have each combination of these two variables. So for example, there's one province in this data set, one row in the data set, where education is equal to 2 and examination is equal to 3. 
There are two rows in this data set where education is equal to 7 and examination is equal to 12, etc. This can be a useful command.